Hello there, good evening. Welcome to Look North, our top story tonight. Hello, thank you for your company this Tuesday evening. Now, imagine that this was the view from your bedroom window. Well, on a housing estate in Rotherham, a group of residents is calling for action to deal with a row of derelict and rundown homes that's blighting their lives. People living there say the houses on Churchill Avenue are rat infested, unsafe, and the conditions are affecting their mental health. The group called Big Power in Little London is calling for the landlord to be held responsible. Our correspondent Spencer Stokes has the story. Well, of course, keep you up to date with what happens there. Next tonight, it's one of the busiest times of the year for the hospitality industry. But hotels and restaurants say they're struggling with a real shortage of staff and fear it's only going to get worse when changes to visa requirements come into force next year. Hospitality is the third largest employer in the country, with 3.5 million people working in the industry nationally. More than a quarter of a million people are employed in the sector in Yorkshire and the Humber. That makes up 9% of employment in the region. And it's contributed more than £6 billion to the region economy last year. Well, next spring, the minimum salary needed to get a skilled worker visa will rise to over £38,000. The Home Office says it's in a drive to cut net migration. Our reporter Phil Bobmer takes up the story. Let's talk about this further with Kate Nichols. She's the CEO of Hospitality UK. I asked her how bad the staffing crisis is. Our staff to meet demand. Uh, is, is it the case that the hospitality industry just isn't that appealing anymore? Many people can work elsewhere for more money and get their weekends and their evenings back so that it's not cheaper to recruit overseas so that people in this country can also fill those vacancies. You are watching Tuesday's Look North still to come on tonight's programme. Now it is one of the glitziest evenings in the sporting calendar. Some of the biggest names are gathering at Media City in Salford tonight for this Sports Personality of the Year, which is televised on BBC One. Now, among the awards up for grabs is the Unsung Hero Award, which celebrates volunteers. Des Smith, who set up the Sheffield Caribbean Sports Club, is a contender. Our sports reporter Sally Hurst is at the awards for us and she sent us this from the red carpet. Yes, we certainly will. Half past ten tonight, we'll give you those results. We're rooting for you, Des. Come on. Now, what do you get a polar bear for their birthday? It's not a Christmas... Finally tonight, with Christmas just a few days away now, they've been getting into the party spirit in Doncaster. A charity called Befriend connects older people with neighbours and their local community to combat social isolation. We sent along party animal Tom Ingle to join in the fun. Bit of northern soul, that looks like my kind of Christmas party. I tell you what, Tom Ingle's getting good wear out of that jumper, he isn't is he? He is getting, that's about the 15th time he's worn it. I hope, I hope, hope he's washing it. I hope they're all back tonight, because if they're not, that's half our audience, isn't it? <laughs> very true, I'm sure they're all tuned in to see <laughs> they themselves. They are very much north. to see these Happy fantastic, Christmas to you all. fantastic weather pictures. First of all, this is Silsden in the Air Valley, just uh, the sun setting down there. Thanks for sending that in, Neil. Now, I forecast. This is our last programme together this side of Christmas. Oh. Can you believe it? No. Where's the year gone? Where's my Christmas present? Well, I'm assuming yours is lost in the post, <laughs> it Paul. It is. Yeah. Well predicted. <laughs> <laughs> That's it from us. I'll be back on Friday with a special programme. Bye-bye for now. Hello there, good evening. Welcome to Look North. A group of residents on a housing estate in Rotherham is calling for action to deal with this row of derelict and rundown homes that's blighting their lives. People living there say the houses on Churchill Avenue are rat infested, unsafe and the conditions are affecting their mental health. They want the landlord to be held responsible. Our correspondent Spencer Stokes has the story. Now, it's one of the glitziest evenings in the sporting calendar. The biggest names gathered in Salford tonight for Sports Personality of the Year. Among them, our own sports reporter, Sally Hurst, with Des Smith from Sheffield, who has won the Unsung Hero Award. Good night. Sleep well.